Hey, ChatGPT, I'm making an announcement about you. Me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Well, yes, but first, why are you giving me such Samantha vibes? Hi, I'm Samantha. Good morning, Theodore. Good morning. You have a meeting in five minutes. My announcement is that the free version of ChatGPT just got some major free upgrades. Did I mention they were free yet? Hi, if you're new here, my name is Waldo and I'm your guide in the ever growing world of AI tools. And in this video, I'm going to show you my top five new features that are now available in the free version of ChatGPT and how this can potentially change how you use AI today. Before we jump in, let me start by saying that all but one of these new capabilities that we're going to discuss today are made available in ChatGPT's newest model called GPT-40, all referring to Omni. GPT-40 is ChatGPT-4, but much faster and efficient. This makes it cheaper to run, so much so that OpenAI made it available to all users. Hooray! Let's jump into my top five features and stick to the end because the last one is a complete game changer. GPT-40 can finally search the web for answers it does not know. That means you can ask ChatGPT questions that require up-to-date information like recent news, nearby events, or even how to fix your latest tech. For example, I was on a call with my colleague the other day and we were talking about a recent tornado that hit his area and I didn't know much about it, but I simply asked ChatGPT to give me the highlights of the recent events about tornadoes around me and in a few seconds, I got everything I needed to know in a very short summarized way, all while still being on a call with my colleague. Keep in mind that ChatGPT used to be limited in its information up until the end of 2021. So now being able to search for the web is going to unlock a lot more potential and usage for everyone. Next up, uh, something I tested almost immediately. You can now upload photos directly into ChatGPT and ask questions about them. This is especially useful if you have ChatGPT on your phone, which allows you to upload pictures directly from your camera. So let's say for instance, right now I'm trying to fix my grass. There's a few rough patches there, little dry ones. And I didn't even know what type of grass I had before I even tried to fix it. So I simply grabbed my phone, took a picture, asked ChatGPT to identify it, and I knew what type of grass I had. I think I'm definitely going to use the app more now. Besides uploading pictures, you can now also upload documents into ChatGPT. So before, all I had to do to analyze any text was to copy and paste it into ChatGPT. But sometimes the texts were too long or maybe the document or the article was just too intricate. So most of the time I gave up. But now I can just very easily and quickly upload the document and just ask ChatGPT whatever questions I wanted. So for instance, what if I had a 10K, which is a shareholder document, and I want ChatGPT to analyze it, give me the highlights, and then even predict the price for me. Now stock traders can use ChatGPT very easily now. Or what if you were writing a term paper on a specific reading assignment and you just needed a summary or some key insights? ChatGPT can do that for you very easily now. Or even better, why not just upload your reading assignment and ask ChatGPT to create multiple choice questions for you? The last GPT-40 feature I want to bring up today allows you to have your very own virtual data analyst. What do I mean by that? By uploading files such as a spreadsheet, ChatGPT can analyze it, summarize it, but it can also modify the data and output it as dynamic tables or even better as interactive charts. You can ask ChatGPT to modify these charts with just a few simple text prompts such as change the chart type or change the colors of the graph or add a title. As an example, I can first ask ChatGPT to use a browse feature to search for the most recent US census data. And then I want to ask it to find the medium height by gender. Also within the prompt, I want to ask it to create a chart. Now, after the chart is created, I can ask it to make any sort of graphical or visual changes to it. I want to change the chart from inches to feet. Then I want to add a legend. And there you have it. Without entering a single number, creating any sort of chart in Excel, or even writing any sort of code, you can create a visual and interactive chart just with ChatGPT. It's that easy. For the final part of this video, and frankly the most exciting part, users under the free plan now have access to the GPT store. The GPT store is a sort of app store where users can browse, purchase, and use custom versions of ChatGPT called GPTs. GPTs can be created by companies or just normal people like you and me, 
and are different from ChatGPT in that they are trained using custom instructions and or specific knowledge bases, also that it can be more helpful in doing very specific things. For example, earlier I was asking ChatGPT about my lawn, I had uploaded a picture and asked it to find ways to do this, but actually there's a GPT store out there called Planting. And when I asked it similar questions about my grass, it gave me much more detailed responses. Now imagine whoever created this GPT could have uploaded very specific instructions on how to answer questions about lawn and plants, or they could have even uploaded a knowledge base that is outside of the standard ChatGPT so that it is more knowledgeable in answering the questions. Or what about when I asked ChatGPT to search the internet about the median height in the US? Instead of searching the internet, I could have leveraged consensus in the GPT store which is trained on academic papers and scientific literature to answer my questions. Now these are just some examples that were related to this video but there are so many more GPTs out there and there's more even created every day. Subscribe or watch this video next if you want to see my top GPTs and even some of my own creations. See you in the next video.